Cycling has changed the way I drive. When you've seen the road from both points of view, it definitely makes you a safer driver. We know cyclists are more vulnerable than cars. We're exposed, so we do everything we can to stay visible. I wear bright clothing and use flashing lights to make me easier to see. I'm almost always going to be harder to see because I'm not as big as a car. It's important that drivers make a conscious effort to look out for cyclists. The classic situation is when you're driving and you want to turn left into a side street. You probably check that no one is stopping in front of you and that the car behind you isn't too close. But you also need to check for cyclists that are approaching from your rear in the bike lane. They're easy to miss and often moving faster than you anticipate. I've learned to make a conscious effort to look for them and leave plenty of space by making it part of my normal driving routine. Check for cars, check for cyclists. It's similar when you're overtaking a bike too. You have to leave a metre gap between your car and the cyclist at speeds up to 60 kilometres per hour and a metre and a half if you're going over 60. That might seem like a lot of space when you're in a car, but when you're on a bike, it's enough room to make sure you're keeping safe. It's really about taking care of each other on the road. No one wants to be involved in an accident. If we can follow the rules and understand each other's perspective, it'll be safer and simpler for everyone.